If you've seen my rating video of the song, you know I quite like Sora by Nebulosa, the Spanish entry for Eurovision 2024. And you also know that I'm a bit worried that people in Europe might not understand the message of this song because the lyrics are in Spanish. So in this video, I want to talk about the meaning and background of Sora and also the controversy surrounding this song. How can some people think that it's a feminist anthem while others think it is just the opposite? Let's find out. At the heart of the controversy is the term Sora, which in Spanish translates literally to female fox, but is actually also a very pejorative term for women, which is very hard to translate into other languages. In English, you would have the B word or the S word, but depending on the situation, you can translate it in many different ways. There was actually quite some upheaval because people thought that this song might not be able to go to Eurovision because it contains a swear word, but the EBU said that because it has so many different meanings, it can actually compete and does not have to be changed. What is clear is that it's not a nice thing to say to or about a woman. And the term also shows the inherent sexism that exists in many languages. The male version, Soro, is not pejorative at all. It describes a man who is strong and gets his way. And during Benidorm Fest, RTVE actually had a commercial for their show, Soro, which is about a man just like that. Mary, the lead singer of Nebulosa, intends to reappropriate this term with this song to empower herself and other women. She has told RTVE, I have often been called a Zora. This song is a way to transform that word into something beautiful. And so the song starts, I know I am just a Zora to you. I know I'm the black sheep, the misunderstood, the one made of stone. I know I am not who you want me to be. I'm in a good place now. It was just a matter of time. I'm gonna hit the streets and scream out what I feel from the rooftops. However, there's also been a lot of criticism from many sides in Spain about the term being used in this song. In editorials of newspapers, it was mentioned, for example, that it takes longer than a song to take the power away from a pejorative term like this. And some groups have also said that it leads to re-victimization using this term so many times in the song and repeating it over and over again. And it also kind of gives permission to use the term. And the head of the inclusion department at RTVE, the national broadcaster, has also resigned and apologized for the song, saying the term Soda is not empowering for women nor for feminism. So how can there be two so opposing interpretations of the same song? Some people have even suggested that it denigrates women. Let's look at the lyrics and see what Mary tries to say. If I go out alone, I'm a Zora. If I have fun, an even bigger Zora. If I stretch the night till daylight, I'm the biggest Zora of them all. When I get what I want, Zora Zora, it's never because I deserve it. Even though I'm taking on the world, no one appreciates it at all. So she's not calling anyone Zora. She says, you are going to call me this term for doing things that are normal, for doing things that I want to do, or whatever I do, really. And so there's only one thing I can do, and that is assume the term and just take it away from you. And in doing that, in that moment, she takes the power away from those using the term in a negative way against her. This part of the lyrics also makes me think of all the roles that women have to fulfill in society that are sometimes very contradictory and that they are being criticized for. You have to be a career woman, but also a good mother. You have to be assertive, but not too much because that's unpleasant. America Ferrara does a very good job in her monologue in the movie Barbie explaining this. So I'll link to it in the description. And actually in the video clip of the song, the band is on stage and women are starting to sing along to the song while the men in the audience reject it completely. And at the end, all the women who are all of a certain age are having the time of their lives on stage after their men try to hold them back from joining the fun. So the song and the word become a bit of a rallying cry of sorts for women to assume their place in society and to be what they want to be, especially at a certain age. And so the song goes, it's going quite well and I couldn't care less. Go ahead, throw stones. I'm a picture perfect Sora. Rebuilt from the inside and this Sora you have been so afraid of has empowered herself and now she is a picture perfect Sora. And in this take me as I am attitude, the song takes inspiration from an iconic appearance by Manuela Tasobades in a Spanish TV program. In 1996, she was invited for being a transgender opera singer. And later on, she would also become the first transgender councilwoman in Spain. 
During the show, she faced a lot of discrimination from especially male audience members who called her mentally ill and also said that they were happy the program was going to end soon because they didn't want to spend another minute in the same room with her. And at one point, she just had enough and made her opinion and frustration with the very repressive societal norms heard. First by words. Perdón, es que he estado Manuela, aguantando cuidado. toda la noche Manuela, y no puedo más. Manuela, no puedo más. No micrófono. puedo más. Manuela, un momento. Yo, tranquilice. No puedo más. No puedo más con, con, esta, con, con, con esta sociedad. Que nos, pero que no lo veis, que nos tienen marginadas. And then by throwing things. She also threw the cups in the studio and told another guest to throw the cup. Tira la copa. Tira la copa. Tira la copa. No, no, no. Which has become somewhat of a rallying cry against oppression and Mary, the lead singer of Nebulosa, also screamed this after winning Benidorm Fest. And of course, in the video clip, she also throws a cup while wearing clothes that are very similar to what Manuela Tassobades wore in this famous TV appearance. The staging at Benidorm has also been criticized, also by me a little bit, because of the nudity of the male backing dancers and some other people also accused Nebulosa of fishing for votes. However, it also shows an interesting double standard because almost no one criticized Chanel in her third place Eurovision performance for doing something quite similar with female backing dancers. It arguably also extends the message of the song to other marginalized groups like the LGBT community. At the end of the day, it is all about your perspective. If you go by the lyrics and the intended meaning of the song, of empowering women, of reappropriating this term and making it into something positive, you will probably like the song. If you hear the term and because of your value system, your prior experience, it offends you, you will probably not like the song. One thing that the song has achieved is that a lot of people are talking about it and the message. Let me know in the comments what you think of this controversy, whether you like the song, whether you don't like the song, and I'll see you for my next video. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss that. See you then and bye bye.